Only One You by Linda Kranz. It's time, Papa said. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what? Adri asked. Papa's voice softened. To share some wisdom. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. Look for beauty wherever you are and keep the memory of it with you. Blend in when you need to. Stand out when you have the chance. Find your own way. You don't have to follow the crowd. Know when to speak. Know when to listen. No matter how you look at it, there is so much to discover. If you make a wrong turn, circle back. If something gets in your way, move around it. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect every day. Appreciate art. It's all around you. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. Thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you will remember. Papa winked and whispered. We know this is a lot for you to think about. Adri did a backward somersault and smiled. He was excited to go out into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to his friends. Before he swam away, he turned back to his parents and said, I will remember. Mama kissed Adri on the top of his head. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. Make it a better place. Thank you for listening. If you're interested in learning how to paint your own rocks, continue to watch the video. We'd also love a thumbs up. Let's get started on finding and painting a beautiful rock. First, you're going to need a somewhat oval shaped rock and some white acrylic paint. I'm just using Blick Acrylic. And you're going to need a paintbrush, a little cup or some type of um, item to put your paint in. And then I have a cup of water and a towel on the side, but really since we're only painting the rock white to start, you really just need the paint and the paintbrush and maybe a surface underneath that's covered. I'm just using some black construction paper. You want to paint the entire top part of the rock, making it a nice thick coat, getting into all of the little crevices of the rock. And then soon I'm going to be lifting it up and painting all around the sides the best that I can. Now that my rock is painted and primed, we're going to go ahead and let this rock sit on this paper for 24 hours just to make sure that that coat of paint is nice and dry. Okay, so it has been 24 hours since we last painted our rock. Um, it is completely dry. I didn't paint the bottom because I didn't want it to stick to the paper. Um, but this is a good opportunity where you can take a Sharpie and write your name on the back of the rock. So if you're doing this project for students, they can write their name on the back and you here. In case you guys are going to put them out on school property. It's wonderful. Okay. So what we first do with our rock is... We need to think about designs, and when we think about the designs, we need to think about patterns and different um, 
types of shapes that we want to use on our rock. So you can see on this one, this one started out to be where um, we drew out some patterns, some wavy lines, we made a little spiral, lots of circles and triangles, but we also made an area for the face. And we need to make sure that we do that on our rock here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Um, I'm actually going to start by making the area of the head outlined like this. And this actually looks like a good spot for an eye. I like that little bump it's got here. So I'm going to outline this for the eye. And maybe make another outline. And remember, it's really good to add patterns because it's going to add to the look of our only one U fish. I'm going to add some heart shaped lips like that. So now what we can do, we've got a couple different options. So you saw this rock here where we used the pencil and we started filling it in with paint. But we also have this option too, um, where you've drawn it out in pencil, we go back over it with Sharpie, and then you try to paint in the lines. This would work best with older students, um, this method of painting in the lines. But to get a nice, a really nice coat, what I suggest doing is um, painting your rock within the shapes and then going back over with a Sharpie to make those lines stand out. So you can see here, this one's a finished one with an actual glaze on it. So you can see that we went back over it with the black Sharpie line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've got two different size paint brushes see they're both very thin. I have acrylic paint. It's very important that we're using acrylic paint. And I have some water on the side. So let's go ahead and get started on painting.
Now that we've finished our painting on the rock, we need to go ahead and let it dry so we can do our black outline. Once your rock is completely dry, we're going to go ahead and outline all the edges of the colors that we see on the rock. So one of the things that we need to do is get out a Sharpie, and then we're going to outline some of these colors. You can also use black acrylic paint if your rock is too bumpy, but let's get started using the Sharpie and see how it goes. I decided that this rock was a little bit too bumpy, so I'm going to outline my colors using some watered down black acrylic and a very steady hand. So let's go ahead and finish up the outline on our rocks. For the last few steps, I'm just going to add in a few of the details and the next thing we're going to do is let our rock dry for 24 hours before putting a clear sealant on it. Here is the finished product with all the extra little details. I'm really excited for it to dry completely so I can put the UV clear coat on it and it will actually last outside of my garden for years without fading. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon on the next video.